my boy is up, riding a horse, no longer internally bleeding. Things are great. <laughs> What? Is Ragnar dying? Or is he... Or is it... What? Oh yeah, that's not... That's not real. Is that... Valhalla? Lagertha? No. He would have said you. It's not her. I, th I think it's gonna be Lagertha. Ragnar, it's not your time. Boo! I don't want him to die. No! I don't want him to go right now. It's not your time. That's why the doors are closing. It's good for us. Not necessarily for you, because I have a feeling you want to. But no, 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 no. Ragnar, it's not your time, baby. <gasps> Whoa! Uh oh. If he does die, he better make it to wherever his loved ones are. Wait, who was that? Wait, who did... Who, who was that shoved on the floor? Boats and... Oh, was that his kids? Are those his kids? Yo, yay! They're growing up. I'm so happy. So even after the whole you killed Athelstan thing, it's they he uh, ah. Don't worry, we will take care of her. What? What? Ah! Damn! I don't who do we all only judge? If Ragnar ends up dying, which he won't, but Bjorn would make a good king, I think. He just needs to learn a bit more. Loki for the murder of Athelstan. Whoa! Wait, did Ragnar tell him to do that? What I did. Or was that Bjorn? For the common good. Wow! Game changing stuff within the first five minutes. You know, I am happy about this because he did kill Athelstan. I still like Floki. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. How was he not dead yet? I mean, he's going to be pissed off that Lagertha and Calf are together. So I'm just waiting for him to die. I saved Lagertha's life. <laughs> and she saved mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Hmm. <laughs> ah ha. I think ever, si ever since Siggy died, I have not liked her at all. That's love. I f feel like her motivations switched. Does he want to die? Like, is he ready to die? I've been kind of questioning that in my mind for the past couple episodes, if Ragnar truly wants to be alive or not. <laughs> She's so happy! Well, don't you care? No. G -g boy Of course I do. No, you d Why would I try to save him? Because you love him. Because you love him. Where did you find it? In the house. In the house. I think maybe Bjorn is going to be the one that's going to travel the world. Like, didn't the seer... You know, say that, or one of his sons will travel the world. This bitch. He's gonna die this episode. Helga looks so disheveled. All of you will be great warriors. Even He better be, swear. has arrested Floki. Okay, so not a part of, not a part of that. Yes. Uh, to deal with my errant friend. Man, I wanted to see Ragnar's plan full out, laid out. 
Is it wedding time? It's wedding time, correct? I thought for sure we were going to skip like a year um, and have those two already married and like flourishing in their relationship because obviously they're going to like, I bet they're going to fall in love with each other. Oh, this, swear to God, I hate that guy. The Count, Olo, maybe? I don't know. Gross. God damn, her father sucks. I mean, I still don't like her, but her father sucks more. I love Rolo. I'll be like, I'm trying, but you're tickling me. Such an arrangement is unacceptable to some of you here. Oh, they're gonna kill if they're gonna kill all the people left. Then as is our custom, I will accede to it. Lagasa will be banished to wonder where she will. I don't nah, I don't know. Kalf is very Archers! Yes! Ah, I was waiting for it! Ooh, kill him! Mustache guy, kill him, kill him, kill him! All right, I like Cal. I wonder why he's doing it. I mean, I'm confused on why little Prince Horik is. Yes. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I wanted him to die, and the way he went out was awesome. <laughs> Boredom at its finest. What about you, Eric? Hmm? You were so unhappy. Yeah, you can tell by the look on his face. No. Oh, really? I oh, don't know. I really hope not mass slaughter, but you never know. Ragnar, boy, you, you, you gotta like chill with that. <laughs> I want to go out into the wilderness, away from everything. That's what he wanted to do at the very beginning. Find out if I can survive. I like this. I mean, what's he gonna do? Because his entire thing was kind of uprooted a bit with Bjorn arresting him and stuff, so... He killed Athelstan out of jealousy. That is the truth. Just admit it. But it is the truth. The truth is I did as the gods commanded. Prove me wrong. I feel like he's about to do something not good. <sighs> I knew it. Eric! Eric! Really? I don't know how to feel about this. This is really hard to watch. Like Rolo betraying everybody. I think that's my consensus of this scene. Right now. So that was season four, episode one of Vikings, and I want to talk about that end bit before I talk about other things, but I really didn't know how to feel because I still like Rolo, you know? I think Season 2 made me 
really love him as a character because we saw him at his lowest and we started to see him rise up again. Um, especially with this stuff with Siggy, it kind of just cemented me really liking him again. But this, I don't know how to feel because I think I'm always going to root for Ragnar. You know what I mean? Like as long as Ragnar is here and present and just wanting to take over things, I will always be on Ragnar's side no matter what. I will always be on Lagertha's side no matter what. Bjorn's side no matter what. Because I know these characters to a core. Rolo, he started out as a villain, kind of went to being a good guy, and now he's in this gray zone where I really don't know how to feel about him. So I don't think I could always root for Rolo because, again, he could change in an instant, kind of like what he did just then. But at the same time, in when Rollo is with everybody, like the princess and the kingdom of Paris, I'm on Rollo's side, if you get me. Even if he's fighting for them, I'm still going to be rooting for him in that situation. But if it's Rollo versus Ragnar, I'm team Ragnar all the way. So I, I, it's so complicated, my feelings, that... I, uh, that's the best I could probably put it into words. I wish I could like just show how I'm feeling and then you guys would understand. Um, but other than that, another thing I want to talk about was Aslog, who I think, like I said in the reaction, ever since Siggy died, ever since she was with the Wanderer, the one that we are pretty sure is a god, um, I feel like her motivations have been changed drastically and I feel like she just is turning into what Siggy was in season one. You know what I mean? Like, Siggy was very power-hungry, I think, in season one. Undertoned, but she was, and her whole entire motivation for the most part of season two was playing the game. And I think that Aslog is the one who wants to become the queen of Kattegat. I, I don't... Ever since she... Basically, she's the one... Her and the Wanderer are the reasons why Siggy is dead, and that's the reason why I am no longer a fan of Aslog. I was kind of always indifferent towards her, but recently it's just kind of been... And also she's advocating for Ragnar's death, which I hate. Um, the boys have grown up. I'm gonna have to start freaking learning the names of his sons, of Ragnar's sons, which I have been slyly going by the series without having to learn the names because they haven't been really important characters but now that they're growing up and they're surviving I guess I have to learn their names um I know Ivar is the one with um the leg issue or the legs issue uh the other one's Sig Sigurd Sig 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 something I don't know I I'll learn it eventually uh Kalf, I'm liking him. That whole moment was awesome. But I'm going to stop talking now because I want to watch the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see my previous reaction, all I do is click the link in the description. And as always, I will see you next time.